So why should these two be married? And everybody gives me that look. They all kind of gave me the look. It, it's vague. But then I got to hear some really neat answers. So I went to the bridesmaids first. And I, the bridesmaids are always sweet and kind. And they said that opposites attract. They said you two are, are opposite personalities in the way that you come together. They said there's an introvert and an extrovert. And the way that you fit together, I think somebody used pieces of a puzzle. I really like that. I thought that was a nice analogy. They said that you take care of him. That uh, I think they also said that you couldn't survive a day without him. <laughs> <laughs> the groomsmen said, the very first thing they said is that they compliment one another. Which is nice to hear from this group of guys. That they bring out the best in one another. That, uh, and then you hear some of the things that groomsmen will sometimes say. Scott, see if you can put a, a, you know, a face to this. Uh, he better quit while he's ahead. Um, I think Allie lost a bet. You know, they were, like, but they said compliment one another. And then every other person that I spoke to in that room, that's the first thing they said. And I thought, I've, I've never, in all of my years of doing weddings, I've never heard every single person that I speak to say they compliment one another. I spoke to your mother. And she said, compatible, they're different, they complement one each other. She said, Scott has a ton of patience, and then that's going to come in handy. And then she used the word balance, you know, and it, kind of a different way of describing the compliment, but I thought that was, that was very appropriate. I spoke to your mother, Scott. She said, they're perfect for one another, they bring out the best in one another, and they suppress the worst in one another. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. We'll take that. And you said they don't limit each, o each other's creativity. That you two both uh, just make the other one better in terms of being creative in your life. I thought that was great. And then of course, I spoke to your father as well. And he said they do love one another. And then he said, you know what they do best is they honor one another. And I thought that was a wonderful sentiment from your father to hear that you honor this woman and that she honors you. That's what this ceremony is about. About honoring each other in the presence of God and the presence of these witnesses. Allie, I take you as my wife. With your faults and your strengths. With your faults and your strengths. As I offer myself to you. As I offer myself to you. With my faults and my strengths. With my faults and my strengths. I will help you when you need help. I will help you when you need help. And turn to you when I need help. And turn to you when I need help. I choose you. I choose you. As the person with whom I will spend my life. As the person with whom I will spend my life. Now that Scott and Allie have given themselves to each other by the promises that they have exchanged in the presence of God and these witnesses, it is my honor to pronounce them to be husband and wife.